Oh, there he goes. Hey, big for Tony here. Um, so let's uh, let's have a look at this one. Um, just a photo, well, two photos actually, um, which is good because uh, we, we have a comparison uh, to show uh, movement. Uh, clearly not pareidolia, and it kind of um, it kind of makes you wonder, you know, if this is if this is a, an actual real creature, or or even if it's just uh, somebody playing a prank on this person, for example, supposedly an elderly person, a pensioner, um, and still takes, uh, manages to take two very good images, uh, considering the, you know, it, it was night time, um, where uh, people these days uh, in the Bigfoot community still uh, continue to use uh, cell phones, which, is, which I don't have a problem with in the sense that they, they are very um, very handy, you know, very easy to carry and uh, great for emergencies and documenting uh, things, but not the most reliable piece of kit for capturing and filming uh, Bigfoot creatures, for example, or, or any, any kind of creature, unless, unless you're close up to that, uh, that creature. And also to get video. Video evidence, obviously, is, um, is the best. You can, you can see movement, movement in the video. Whereas uh, photos, you cannot see movement. It's a still image, unless you have two photos like this. Whereas I'm about to show you now, there there is movement. So we have this uh, this letter here, and I will. Um, I'm not going to read it. Don't worry. <laughs> um, I'll just uh, leave this here, and maybe I'll zoom in a bit for people who can't read very very well. I'll leave this here and then I'll zoom down, I'll move down to um, to halfway to get the other half. There you go. So you can either pause it whenever you like there. So all, all I want to do here is basically look at the look at the actual photos and um, see if we can pick out any details. First of all we'll we'll look at the uh, like I said I've noted the, the movement that there is movement there. What I've done I've I've focused and I've kind of uh, align these images on on this uh, this um, branch here uh, and this one here. Sorry, the point is not very big. I know nothing I can do about that. So these um, and there you can see that the the alleged creature is actually moving when we um, click off and kind of like an animation here, and we can see that um, it is actually moving from a crouching position um, and uh, almost into uh, not really standing but uh, moving upwards anyway we can see that it, there there is movement there um, you can see the head in the in the, this image the the eyes are, are below the shoulder level and uh, as we click on the other one we can see now the eyes are above shoulder level and here also we can see um, this we can see um, this hand here, and I think this might be another hand here also. But this hand um, moves upwards when. So now in the second image, it's here. As you can see, there's movement there, some kind of movement. But interestingly, there's no movement um, in the, if this is a hand. Uh, although it does look like a uh, kind of a small animal with a with a nose there and two eyes <laughs> um, but uh, if this is a hand then it it uh, it's not moving because we can see that it it is in the same place um as this corner here is the same as this corner here doesn't move maybe very slightly but uh, not much which is interesting because you would think that uh, um, a creature this large would uh, at least move uh, its its other hand as well even slightly uh, when either pushing up or or even just uh, 
just you know moving without using the hand muscle the arm muscles still there would be slight movement uh, on the hand that is if this is a, a hand uh, or not also another interesting thing is um, it appears to have something in in its mouth uh, some uh, some leaves off this this plant here also in the in this first image also um, and in the in the letter I remember that um, the person said that uh, apparently it was eating the apples coming for the apples uh, but it's for some reason um, eating the uh, the leaves here now in in this plant so whether it's um, it's a kind of a costume or some kind of puppetry um, it kind it would kind of make sense that they would they would place uh, some grass in in the mouth in the mouth to make it you know, possibly look more real realistic or some leaves in the mouth there I don't know if this is uh, an edible plant or if um, if uh, creatures like this would eat would eat that I don't know and uh, clearly we have eye shine uh, from the flash so that's interesting so that's another thing we need to think about would um, would this creature create eye shine a living creature create eye shine uh, we know um, possibly that Bigfoot does and most animals do and if this is a, a costume or if it's some kind of uh, some plastic eyes would that also uh, create eye shine some you know plastic uh, possibly yeah some you would get some reflection from from um, from the eyes, even if it's uh, even if it's fake, I I would imagine. So it doesn't mean that it's uh, definitely a creature just because it has eye shine. Uh, some close-ups of the hands, what um, I think could be the hands, in um, the two different images. You can see the kind of uh, the knuckle here. The finger there. And here's the the other hand showing the movement um, and here we see if, um, a fingernail maybe if I can just uh, in, enhance that slightly there we go um, a fingernail there quite good uh, interesting um, detail um, if it is uh, um, a fake um, so again we do see movement and is this possible to do with a um, some kind of costume or, or some kind of puppetry I, I'm really not sure. By the way, please, uh, please, I will, uh, please watch Bob Gimlin's um, um, video on this, and uh, he does a great presentation with uh, kind of more in-depth uh, detail um, about the uh, the letter, which is really, really good, really interesting, very informative. And uh, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think.